Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game two of the final match between Jess and Hoff. Good, colors are less uh, crazed here. Here at the 8 o'clock position, we have Jess. We'll see if we see another creative. Likes the DT building openings, and I like that, to be honest, because sometimes you get free wins like that. 12 o'clock base, we have Hoff. Hoff, I'm going to call it build order loss, game one. Invisible men don't just hurt Terran. Get the comment from Stream the Artosis. You can hear the screams from here, the salts pouring through the ether. It's been an intense match thus far across the series. I will be a little bit disappointed, I'm gonna be honest, if it comes back to like a build order loss for the final match. We'll see. We'll see. I was a little disappointed in that last match that it wasn't kind of a better it was it was just a build order loss. Uh, from Jess. Pylon there. <clears throat> Alongside there. But, getting back again. BSL Season 12 is starting up. Nyokin was... Not only is he a BSL caster, he's been casting ASL. And speaking of ASL, I want to mention that Tastosis, with their donations on Patreon, have put their English commentary. It is now up on the ASL main channel. So, check out their dual cast, ASL, and I think there was something about that. The fact that enough money was produced so that they can do, and it was, it's a significant amount of monthly money for them to do that. I feel like that somehow establishes StarCraft. I don't know how. I think it's, it's a big statement. Idle probe right there. Let's see if it gets mining. It's not in the position you want it to be. Two gateway opening, by the way. From Jess, going to go Zealot, pressure into Hoff. Hoff producing two gateways as well, doing a mirror build. This, Keep in mind, this was the map that I believe Hoff won previously. I don't think we... I'm trying to remember through the series if we saw Jess. Up. So point being, after you're done watching this series, if you have not already seen it, go check out Tasteless and Artosis. I am a little bit annoyed that they're... They're paying for it, and yet they still have to keep all the commercials and all the other stuff on. Like, all of the Korean stuff. They can't add their own flair on top of everything as far as graphics and whatnot to improve it. So it feels like they're kind of getting the raw end of that deal altogether, but I guess that's to be expected. No gas yet from Jess. Uh, from Jess, we do see a gas grab from Hoff. Jess's scout just now making its way, so probe scout disadvantage overall. And Zealot kind of doing that wandering chase. We'll see once there's three Zealots out if there's like a press towards that front door. Or upon seeing this front, ooh, and a little bit of juking. Broke those Zealots knees. Man, they should uh, <laughs> pause and probably an unpause there. Yeah, as far as the chatter right there. Still no gas from Jess. So Jess almost looking like she wants to go into an additional Nexus off three zealots, which would be a little bit nuts. And I think between that pause and everything else, the probe scout of Jess was taken out. I missed it. Yeah, probe died. Between the probe. Yeah, going for... Hmm. Interesting. That's an odd build. I've never seen... I don't think I've ever seen this. Two gate, three zealot. Grab. Particularly with a lack of scouting information. I guess the logic is, is like you can re-block this and Maybe it's just so odd that Hoff won't know what's coming. And interestingly enough, I think it might turn into a build order advantage, despite the just the complete unorthodox nature of it, might turn into a build order advantage for Jess. We'll see. Probe moving down, four zealots moving down, but that's four zealots versus four zealots plus home field advantage, five zealots actually technically, once it makes its way back around. Cybernetic score range upgrade upgrading. I gotta say though, once the the dragoons are fielded, so this is getting spotted by Hoff. Hoff definitely saw that. Honestly, should back off with the zealots at this stage, and just wait for dragoons, and then press into this. Unless we're seeing a, we do see a forge. Still kind of odd play, but seeing all this, it's like okay, just stop producing. Maybe stop producing units, and go ahead and take two nexus, right? With map advantage, once you have... Yeah, now you got these two Dragoons. Maybe just poke. Yeah, do exactly that. No, instead... 
So Hoff, rather than opting to utilize that map control to take a macro advantage, is going to use this to try to go for a proxy. Just engaging here on the front. More Dragoons moving forward. Might see, we do see a proxy Robo. So proxy Robo seems to be the preferred choice against early expansions. PvP, go figure. Range upgrade there. Three cannons on the front. Cybernetic Score just finishing. And this is going to be a significant... Yeah, just has to be careful with these Zealots. This is going to be significant Dragoon count advantage. And I feel like this... Well, we'll see if this works out for Hoff. Thus far, all attempts at doing the slow walk Reaver into the natural expansion to take it down to take the match have been unsuccessful. But here with range upgrade coming this late, a third gateway just now being plopped down, and a much smaller Dragoon count overall, I gotta think that maybe this will play out. Robotics support bay being placed in the main. Again, I like it rather than on the front, just in case this does get taken out at some point. Hoff still trying, ooh, careful that you don't take any damage you don't wanna take. Plus that reinforcement point. And also you look at this spread like this, one reaver shot in there can be devastating. I do like what Hoff did here, making sure that another, nothing sneaky was pushed out there. And also that could be a, three, a third base take for the follow up. Citadel of Adun being placed. First Reaver, about, I don't know, a third finished. A lot of Dragoons out here. This might even up by the time this is all pushed out. Probe count advantage for Jess. Pylons at the corner just in case there were drops or shuttles or something along those lines. And moving out to try to test this front line. This, I think, is a mistake from Jess. And actually losing that Zealot and that Dragoon might be the deciding factor. Reavers coming out will be able to slow walk to the front. Is not going to have any protection from a shuttle. But I honestly don't know that it's even going to be needed. One critical thing, though, is that's the Citadel of Adun. There's the Templar Archives. And I don't see an... Okay, we do have an Observatory. Yeah, now the damage coming. Will this finally be the successful Reaver push? Hoff pushing into that natural expansion. Cannons getting slammed by that reaver fire probes coming off the line trying to attack that reaver that is that is some brave probes right there wow the probes managed to kill the reaver but the reaver managed to take out that pylon so this natural expansion completely exposed i don't see any additional pylon being built just pulling probes off the line to try to provide defense critically though will the dt be able to come out and save the day dt's just being built the observer being built and this net, I think that's it. Natural expansion's lost. Hoff moving in. An observer will follow. Cannons defensively trying to be built. Just now behind in the overall economy. Natural expansion is up for Hoff. Actually focusing on the gateways. On top of all, on top of the rest of this. And the observer, the, where is it? Where's the observer? There's the observers on top of this. So even then the DTs aren't going to be able to get done. That's GG. GG. So we are going to move into a final match between Jess and Hoff to see who advances to the BSL round of eight.